connect everybody to God. Okay, you can stay with mother, father, brother, wife, but connect all of them to God. Just remember one slok. What is Vitrasa saying? How beautiful this shloka is, Vitrasa said. In the last shloka, he said, he is praying to God, Prabhu. I want friendship with your beloved devotee. God said, God with me. He said, no, not with you, with your devotee. By the karma, I asked for one benediction, which Rasul said. I asked for one benediction. I may, may I live with my family properly and follow all my responsibilities, but I want to be detached from my family. So you need to be detached. This is the thing. This detachment is the cause of bondation, nothing else. Bondage is the cause of bondage. It's not bad to live with your family. Where will you go after leaving them? You tell me. If you leave your mother, father, where will you go? Where will you go? Will you go to Canada? You want to go Western? Go, you can go. You will understand after some time. You go and you will never come back. If you go, then you will not come back alone. <laughs> you will go with two hands, come back with four hands, like four hands and four legs. <laughs> this is true or not? In Western country, you will come back with four legs. <laughs> I have seen all the very few people come back alone from Western countries, very, very few. They come back. I'm not saying they don't come back. Many people, they come back with four feet, four legs. Understanding my point? What is the meaning? You went alone and you came back with two. Like two people came back. And then two become four, then four become six. <laughs> You're understanding my point. I don't have a lot of time to speak, try and understand. It is good, but this is the truth. The Maya is very powerful. I've been traveling for 25 days. I, I've seen it. 25 years I'm traveling. 25 years. I'm seeing it for the past 25 years. Many people have gone and who have come back. But do bhajan wherever you live. I'm not saying don't go to Western country. This is not my meaning. Go there and be detached. Wherever you live, Western country or in your house. In this shloka, Vitrasur shloka, you have to understand this. Depending on the past life karma, we are suffering in this material world. May I suffer, but I just want one benediction. Pray to God that anyhow we should be detached. You have to live with your mother, father, everything. You have to serve them, not go peace. Did they leave your house? No. Where did the gopis go? Gopis live in their house or not? Sadhan, Siddha, Nidha, Siddha, different, different type, all type of gopis that we know. All, they live in their house. But their mind, heart, everything is absorbed in completely 100% in Krishna. 
Let's use to serve. These are saying Pati Sutanaya. Gopis are saying Gopi Gid, this is coming. Look, Krishna Govinda. We are here. We have abandoned our husband, our son, Pati Sutanaya, our son family. We have abandoned, left our brothers, sisters, everyone. So beautiful shloka this is. By this shloka, this coming, that gopis, they used to perform their household activities. True or not? Gopis were married or unmarried, you tell me. They were married. They served everybody, but to their mind, heart was always absorbed in Krishna. Okay, you can serve your family, but don't be attached. This is the learning coming from gopis. There are many, many learning coming from the scriptures. Where will you go? You go Vrindavan. Can you become Mirabai? <laughs> Mirabai went to Vrindavan. You go to Vrindavan. Mirabai, did she live in an attached bathroom? I am telling this to myself. I am not saying this for you. First, I call. When I go to Vrindavan, I call someone there. That for me, keep AC and attach bathroom room saved for there. Otherwise, and geezer and all, it's not like you can do bhajan while staying in India. Can you not do bhajan in a foreign country? No, everyone is doing. It's true or not? There are many, many Western devotees in the West. The household devotees are there. There are temples also. They do have very nice bhajan also. A person who wants to do bhajan, they can do bhajan at any place, any place in the world. But person who does not want to do, they will not do at any place in the world. Those who have sukriti of past life, they will, they can do bhajan anywhere. But yet, we need supportive environment. But even Thakur is saying, we're doing bhajan in Radha Kund. Naturally, he's doing. Staying in Radha Kund, someone is staying in Vrindavan. Someone is doing Vrindavan, Vrikrama daily, Nidhivan, Seva Kunj. They are all doing bhajan. And someone in Western country, they are also thinking about chanting holy names and they are thinking about Vrindavan. And someone is living in Vrindavan and they are thinking about foreign country. So it's reverse. So those who want to do bhajan, they can do bhajan at any place. So what we have to see? We have to see. <laughs> Supportive environment. With supportive environment, the bhajan becomes supportive and it's easy for us to follow it. This is the thing. Just pray this to God. Prabhu, please provide me supportive environment to follow my spiritual life. What will you pray for? That please give a supportive environment to perform bhajan. And slowly and slowly, everything will become supportive. Naturally, no doubt in it. Naturally, everything will be arranged. Mm. That's why we should pray for it. This slogan is very, very nice. Very beautiful slogan this is. We should do bhajan. Just, uh, oh God, please just give us a supportive environment for bhajan. Don't leave to connect everyone and get association of sadhu. One goal in your life you should have the association of sadhu. Wherever a sadhu is there, go there and uh, just get association of sadhu. How beautiful shloka this is. Who is speaking? 
सेठ कपिल और कपिल देव टीचिंग हिज मदर देवती कपिल देव स्पोक मदर देवती योर दैट टाइम गॉड कपिल देव He gave many many instructions to his mother, and one of the most major instruction is this. Kapil Dev is saying this log. Be in the shelter of Sant Mahatma. Who can protect us? Sant Mahatma, high class exalted devotees. They can protect us. A non sadhu cannot protect. A vikrut sadhu cannot protect you. With sadhu, a pure sadhu can protect. Who is doing bhajan himself? A person who is not doing bhajan, if you go to them, they will get reverse fruit, bad fruits. One who is doing bhajan, chanting holy names, be in their shelter. Listen to my Bhagavad Gita, Mritam. And if, how should you listen from Sant Mahatma? You have to listen about knowledge and renunciation, but you should also listen the sweet, sweet pastimes, beautiful, amorous pastimes of God. You're like, oh, leave everything, leave everything, leave everything. You're like this is if, so. If there's a joke like in the cabbage, you're like taking everything. Oh, this is like a peel, 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 and the cabbage ended. So the nectar of the katha, which it is the full of ras, the katha. We should hear the katha full of ras. What is that? You tell me. Radha ji became angry. and she is sitting on the opposite side of radha kunda and krishna is trying to pacify radha ji and radha rani's anger she could it increased krishna bangsi bajaya krishna played flute radha ji tumhare bangsi ke dhvani mai sunu kaan mein kya she said i will not listen to your flute she put some cotton in her ear and blocked her ears krishna ke bangsi then the sound of flute of krishna it got it failed krishna braj mein to isne bangsi Krishna, why does he keep a flute with him? Only to pacify the anger of gopis. No other reason. But today that flute did not work. Sometimes we say we are brain dead. Our brain is not working. The machine is on. Machine has hanged. Computer has hanged. Is not working like this. So Krishna's flute it failed. It it was hanged. like sometimes when a machine stops working and so krishna was thinking now how the is broken then the meeting will happen right so what did the krishna do he was thinking what to do now and he started to think he is like one weapon failed so the weapon of the sound of flute failed so he tried to, to think of another weapon beautiful lila this is he is holding his ears and he went to the kunj of shri radha and he is sitting on rolling on the ground but yet radha rani is very very angry and she went to yavat krishna ne kya ki jo what did krishna do by with the he, he remembered yog maya that time yog maya she took form of a big snake Look, Maya, what did she do? This black snake was very huge and tried to attack Sri Radha, and Radha ji became uh, scared. What? Where will she go? Because it was a very narrow passage. Everywhere was thorns on the right and left. 
any bridge there is like very very thorny plant you cannot she could not go left could not go right and in the front there was snake and Ranaji, what did she do at the end she went backward and she said krishna krishna protect me she hugged she embraced krishna and so and her anger broke so radha and krishna met again so if you are feeling the sweetness in your ears it does you feel sweetness in the heart also right now you're not liking it because you're hungry dharma artha kama moksha their paths will all automatically they will be blocked dharma artha kama you will you will not want them you will not want mukti also so by such sant mahatma listening for hari katha from high class exalted devotee the shraddha will manifest in your heart and then sadhu sang bhajan kriya anarth nivrit nishtha ruchi asakti this all comes in the sadhan bhakti the process and then in shuddha satya vishesh atma then the heart will become soft the eternal the ray of sunlight ray of divine love that is coming from the eternal associates of krishna it will reflect in your heart and then you will develop in your spiritual life and attain bhav then you will get anand in katha you are getting little bliss feeling blissful in katha little bit but sometimes it's not coming i know everything i say maharaj stop speaking now this is i know everything <laughs> they are thinking maharaj stop speaking let's do some kirtan or something first is sadhan bhakti then is bhav bhakti shraddha to asakti sadhan bhakti and after it is bhav bhakti then bhav bhakti is prema bhakti in shloka this all is explained and mother dev ki listen So then slowly, sadhan bhakti, and then bhav bhakti, and then prema bhakti will manifest in the heart. If prema bhakti manifested, then nothing else. What else do you need? When prema manifests, these symptoms you can see. They will dance in ecstasy. sometimes i have this snake to chastise little like we do kirtan and and the devotees they sit in the corner they stand near the wall and i say come here and move your body dance at least dance all become ice how will it work if you all become ice bhakti and swami maharaj in new york there was snowfall he used to hit the ice with his sanyas stick and when devotee asked what are you doing said jeevas are like this we have to break them melt them so that they can in prabhu pad lila amrit it is there did you read that book when devotee gave very big book a very nice book i i read this book swami maharaj's stories are many many there prabhu pad lila amrit in english it is i have this book i keep reading it and i express these kathas in foreign countries also these all uh, condition souls they have turned into ice from water first i have to break them and make them water again at least dance i say are at least move your hands at least move your legs you are standing like a ice in the corner So listen the nectar in nectar katha of nectar katha that has nectar listen the time will it will take time no problem mahaprabhu came to give manjari bhav you will attain it one day there is no doubt in it but to attain it what do you have to do you have to do some sadhan 
without following the process how will you attain the ultimate goal but you have to implement the process you have to listen harikatha see this is here coming from england we people live nearby and they are not coming to the program even and they are here they are coming from england all are here you all are here also very nice so that's why association of sadhu and we should do bhajan kapil dev he targeted the uh, devki and he gave teachings to her mother to his mother kapil dev in third canto this is very very important how a jeeva suffers in the womb of mother everything is explained there all this if i keep on speaking i will keep on speaking till night let's do aarti and prasad माला का सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द गार्लैंड गार्लैंड का टिप अच्छा सो दिस लॉक इट आई टेल लेट इफ आई एक्सप्रेसिंग इट देन यू विल नॉट गेट एनी प्रसाद टेल लेटर